TransAX is an increasingly important uh, an internet exchange now on the international internet exchange market as well, not just within Europe. So we were getting a lot of demand um, from our customers. They were actually giving us a lot of feedback that they wanted to be at France IX as n not just the big three internet exchanges anymore, but France IX was becoming uh, included in this, the big four now in Europe. So it was partly customer demand, um, but also uh, we enjoy working with France IX. We, we had some good conversations initially about that and they were very pro professional. Um, we get a lot of good uh, communication from the industry that they're, they're very professional, they're very robust and problems are, are sorted very quickly. So that's the kind of partner that we want on board um, and that someone like France IX who is, is growing so quickly can grow with us. Some customers ask for France IX for redundant reasons. They, they may appear at one of the other big international inter internet exchanges in Europe and then France IX is the next choice so that they have a little bit more resiliency. Um, but then uh, we do also have a lot of customers who are based in regions like Switzerland, for example, so you get the Swiss French. There's also areas of Africa and the Middle East that have a, a lot of French-speaking uh, regions. So they want to access French content. They want to get closer to those regional peers as well as the international community, uh, the peers of France IX, so they can then deliver that content by, on their network. We deployed the 10 gig share port option uh, with the reseller program that France IX offer. What that enables us to do at our end is uh, offer fractional ports, what we call fractional ports, and that's also known as private VLANs for those individual customers. So that's part of our unique selling point is that we can offer these fractional ports. So it makes sense for remote, for remote peering um, because a lot of uh, remote peering networks will want smaller bandwidths. So they may take one gig, but they may also take 100 meg to get going, to get started, and um, to try out the market. So that was important for us to offer via France IX as well, especially because they're becoming such a big partner for us. Uh, so that's why we chose that, that option initially, but it's also easier to manage as well. It's easier on our end than giving an individual port to each customer that we turn up and we're turning up a lot. So we connected our port at France IX in December 2012. And since then we've been really happy with the number of customers that we brought to France IX. We, we actually connected 20 plus. Um, 13 of those actually came through an initial push that we did with France IX uh, with a special offer uh, to connect them with 100 meg for free which was really popular. It brought a lot of new peers onto the internet exchange. So obviously for France IX, that's a little bit more attractive uh, for getting other members as well. And since then, um, people have started to push more traffic. So even those that took it as a sort of test or a trial, let's say, they've actually been really surprised at the amount of traffic that they're pushing to France IX and are now looking to see whether they upgrade and, and the next stage that they take that. So that's really successful and we're really pleased with that. Another, another area that's really important to us and important to our customers is the support that they get with the network. It's a very crucial part of what we deliver. And we pride ourselves on our own 24 seven knock and the support that they get around the clock. Um, and one of the things that France IX is extremely good on and we're extremely grateful for is that they also have 24 seven knock that's extremely reliable problems are sorted very quickly. And our customers can have the option to go direct to France IX or they can come via us. I mean, we normally handle the technical situation anyway if it's a customer via us, but they also have that option if they need to. It's a sort of backup solution as well. Um, so it's completely robust for them to, to operate both. Our network is sort of naturally evolving. We started off in London, Paris, Frankfurt, and Amsterdam. So that was the first part of the network we built. And then we expanded into Europe. So we have a very good foothold in Europe and our network is extremely strong in Europe. We then started to expand out from there into the US, for example. So we have transatlantic capacity over into the US and we have um, west to east coast as well. We then recently decided to pop Dubai. So we've actually moved into the Middle Eastern market and we're now 
highly concentrated on developing that. It's a big priority for us. So we're, we're now turning up a lot of important customers from the region who are now wanting connectivity to the rest of our network in Europe and the US, for example. And from there, we've sort of naturally evolved into what looks like the Asian market as being the next priority. So some of the Middle Eastern companies um, have a, a strong demand for the Asian market as well. So LA is now an extremely important hub for us. Um, so we're, it looks like we're now going to go into, into those markets and really concentrate on those. Marseille is becoming an, ex, an interesting hub now, and it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens now going forward because there's a lot of companies from the Middle East um, and further afield actually into Asia as well who are landing their international capacity in Marseille. So we, it's, it, it's now an, an important hub for us. So we've just recently added a new pop there so that we can now service that audience and that customer base. And from that point, we can actually connect people into Europe, to the major internet exchanges, to France IX in Paris, for example. There's also France IX Marseille that's going to become an interesting uh, hub as well for, for interconnects and peering. So we're kind of waiting to see what happens with it, but we're, we're positioning ourselves to be prepared for that to go quite crazy because it looks like it's going to be an important hub uh, and important for, for peering as well. So we're happy to continue the relationship with France IX on that as well and see how we can promote and develop that further. So if you want to connect to France IX, contact IX Reach at inquiries at ixreach.com.